talk to me about what you are seeing as it relates to the frustrations of women that are causing them in record numbers to say, yeah, my guy, I'm, I'm good with you. I'm, I'm out. Uh, that would be because we're not feeling heard and understood as the women in the household. Uh, the vulnerability level is low to non-existent from our men and husbands. And then we are speaking different languages as well, right? So just because I said something does not mean that you heard it the way that I said it mm. or actually what I said, right? Um, and this, this actually goes for men and women. Based off of the thing, the sentence that just came out of my mouth might not be your interpretation of what I meant by the sentence that I just spoke. So yeah. the vulnerability is absolutely a piece where we're feeling like we, um, we don't understand you. We don't know you. Uh, we feel like our men are keeping everything in their own box, in their own compartments. And we're not able to be a part of your journey, your full journey. It's like you're not allowing us to be a part of the full, your full world, if you will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so we're trying to guess and figure out where we fit in. And, and, and after a while, Donald, to your point, after a while, that gets really old mm -hmm. and the frustration is built up. The resentment is setting in and I'm just not happy. I don't want to be here. I don't know how, right. I don't know how to get to the next level or how to get out of this funk that we're currently in. Yeah. And so um, on top of that, it seems that a lot of um, our black men specifically are lagging or either don't believe in mm -hmm. coaching, counseling, therapy, mm -hmm. some form where we can get some help. Because if, if you don't have the answer and I don't have the answer, we keep knocking heads the same way over and over and over again, then what are we doing? Yeah. How are we moving to the next level? Right yeah. now, we're not. Yeah, yeah. So, so I want to, I want to ask you this on the heels of that, right? So we, I hear a lot of brothers who say, and I want you to squash this or affirm it, right? So I hear a lot of brothers who say, you know, she's trying to take the lead. She just want to be leader of the family. I'm, I'm the leader of the family. Is that true? Is it that sisters want to lead? Uh, you, you guys want the responsibilities of, of leading? <laughs> I think I got the answer, but can you kind of expound a bit about this misnomer that we are feeling like you guys feel like you want to lead? I'm, I'm seeing your facial expression say, nah, nah, my God, that's not, that's not true. Donald, and to every other man that's listening, <laughs> that is an emphatic hell no. <laughs> no we do not want to wow. lead we don't want to lead at all unfortunately it seems that we want to lead because here's the thing no woman feels safe secure protected or in a, a stable marriage when there is no mission mm. no plan and you want to be the leader and so what we're thinking of as women is, where are you leading me to? If you don't know, how am I supposed to follow? Because you may literally go over the cliff. You want me and the family to go with you? Right. I think not. I think not. So there, there is not a clear plan, a clear vision, a clear mission for the family. And so when there's not, right, then we're out of alignment, out, out of alignment in our family. Wow. Because usually God is not the head. Yes. Right. God is usually not the head, which is why we're out of alignment. And, and especially since we're looking for the leader, i.e. the man in the relationship, yes. God, man, right, woman, child, etc. When yes. that's out of alignment, everything else is in chaos in your relationship. Every other area is in wow. chaos. So, wow. no, we do not want to be leaders. We don't want to take on the helm and run the ship. It's just, we're kind of forced to. Wow. Because, because we're out of position. So, yes, so because the you, man, you, the head is out of position. Correct. But in your own words, kind of talk about why ladies and brothers should be at the happy spouse, happy house summit. Listen, you must attend the happy spouse, happy house summit, because we're going to be breaking down those fears breaking down those barriers. And guess what, Donald and I have the answers 
to all of your questions that you want to be answered, right? Because you've been busting your head trying to figure this thing out. So stop busting your head, running into the same wall, come brothers and sisters, right? And get the answers that you want, but also get the, get the, 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 the strategies so you can take the actions to turn your relationship and marriages around for good. Yeah. For good. So you can be a part of the top 1% of couples that have extraordinary relationships. Like, like this is not something that is for everybody else. And it's aloof to us as black people. It's not, you can have it too. It's just, we so long, we've been living in survival mode and now it's time to stop surviving and to thrive. So show up, happy spouse, happy house. It's for you because it's not just for um, happy wives, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> not just for happy wives <laughs> because both couples both parties within the relationship need to feel heard understood appreciated honored respected and we have the answers that you need so we'll see you there absolutely